class, professors and students are kind of equal. And they're like kind of like well conduct very equal and very thoughtful conversations, but they are very well in a very relaxed atmosphere. My chemistry professor, Professor Sharp, he's really he's really good and he's excellent on one on one. So I'd go to his office hours and then he would explain things step by step. So like during during the lectures it would be very broad. But then when one on one with him, like he would explain things very slowly and I got it. There's a healthy relationship between student and faculty. For example, one specific one, we have, um, for the most part, we sit out and we have pizza together every Wednesday. The idea is we, you know, we have lunch together and there's that outside of classroom um, friendship. My favorite professor uh, is Diane Jorsky and uh, she uh, taught me uh, anatomy and physiology, a, a part of anatomy and physiology course last year. And uh, the reason why I like her is because uh, she taught me about like spinal cord yes, and uh, the brain functions and it just, she, she's such an amazing professor. It's hard to pick a most favorite one, but I would say that all of them are very supportive to me. I can actually feel that when I'm talking to my professor, they are trying to, well, they are eager to know me more, which makes me feel really warm. I would say one of the most um, outstanding experiences I have of any hands-on project was for my capstone project. And for engineering, um, every discipline is required to have one. The project centered around NASA's CUBE satellite initiative. They definitely have a lot of constraints when it comes to design. Uh, sort of pushes the bar for you as an engineer in the making. I'm looking forward to um, the future because we are going to go and work with animals and that's and that's the way I learn like I need to learn ha with hands-on. There are a lot of hands-on learning experience at UVM um, and, and it's it's with all different majors. For me uh, specifically you know, as a nursing major uh, my sophomore year I started off um, um, at the sim lab and it's state-of-the-art sim lab where you have this amazing technology you get to use those and practice. In the beginning, I used the um, learning co-op, where you could, um, where you could get tutors, and then. But after a little while, you get you get to know people in your class, and then you can usually ask if you have questions. I definitely needed some help uh, writing some research paper. Uh, I just went to the uh, writing center um, in the library, and people there were just very helpful and friendly and. They went just you know, above and beyond. When I go back to, to China, I think I would really appreciate the education that UVM gave me from different aspects. So first of all is how they train me about the way of thinking, the way of critically analyze things on beyond my knowledge learned in class. In a holistic point of view, uh, I've learned a lot about myself also. So all these skills I can take no matter where I go, maybe back home to Nepal or somewhere else. It's, it has made me a lot better at speaking English and uh, you will, you'll get a lot of contacts from a different place in the world. I'd rather you spend the beginning part of your youth and your 20s making yourself stand out and be unique rather than be just one of the seven point something billion out there in the world. You, you kind of form a little a new family uh, when you're far away from home and it's, it's, you, it makes you more independent. As an international student studying at UVM, there's definitely, especially my major hands-on experiences. The faculty here are so kind and smart and they're always there to help you out. The idea to come study in a different country and especially in UVM for me was a big step but it was definitely a great one.